All right, all right, all right. Um, we are we are kind of back. The microphone is working, but uh, you know, we're back. So we're gonna do how to make a state. So first, like normal, we're gonna make the mod. And uh, if you've never made a mod, I'm gonna show you how. If this is your first video, that is. The other people that have done a mod before, they probably don't. So basically, you'll be on uh, the play this, this one, and you'll click all installed mods. You probably won't have any if you haven't installed a mod or made one. Click upload mod, create mod, YouTube or something. This is version one. E, uh, let's just name it after the mod. Uh, you choose one tag or multiple depending on what you're making. Done. And your mod's been made. Now you go to playset. Add to current playset. And you probably won't have anything else in here. So YouTube. There we go. The playset that you've uh, selected is probably this. It's already set. Mine. Uh, yeah. So it'll probably already be set. Now your mod's made. But there's nothing on it if you launch a game and you notice. So um. We're gonna click show in folder in the playset area. So open the mods folder. This is important, you kinda need this. And we'll make some core files on the way, but we're gonna need common. This should make them on its own and we're just gonna make history. History. Now we're gonna launch the game and die to the music. Now before we launch the game, you're gonna click right click Hearts of Iron 4 in Steam, click properties, go to general, type in debug mode, and if you want crash logs for if your game crashes, do this too. But so uh, dash debug. And then you click play and we're just gonna skip so we can get into the game because we already set the mod. In debug mode, you'll get all these errors. This is normal. Um, it's just Paradox making a whole bunch of errors that they don't feel like fixing. <laughs> Alright, so instead of clicking single player and going new and then loading a game with all these leaders, we're going to click Nudge and then Nudge Tool. So this is Nudge Tool. Nudge Tool is a coder's best friend, but it's also very unstable. So we're going to make a new state. So here's Texas. Um, let's make Texas a new state and we we'll also put some New Mexico because it's a box and why would we want a box. So we're gonna click right here and double click it. What was it? Was it shift click? Yeah. <laughs> My bad. So if you shift click it you get this new state. We're gonna set a name for it. It's gonna be called uh, I don't know, like t tut tut. T no, we'll just do new new state. There we go. That's such a good name. Create state. And now we have new state. Now, if we select new state and we shift click, you add to new state. And this is revolutionary when you want to make a state like this. We're going to take over all of these and boom, new state has its own thing now. Now we're going to click save. You always want to click save so it saves it to new state. Um, so we want to do strategic region now and how it does not have a strategic region. We're going to click on one that we want. So southwest north, it doesn't even matter, I'm going to do southwest, I'm going to shift and I'm going to click and now we add it to southwest. And you always want to click save, so it saves it. We're going to go building, we're going to click on the state we made and we're going to click random in state. Then we're going to click validate all in state to make sure it's in the right state. Same with these ones, random, 
because it um it registers sometimes it doesn't think this is a state still random in state and then validate in state do that with everything that you swapped random in state validate in state right here random in state validate up here i think i did this one too well now your box random in state validate there we go now we can supplies this isn't really important but you can leave <coughs> and we're gonna quit the game for now now in our mod folder folder that we opened if we go to the hearts and iron thing right before mod you'll see localization history and map now i'm just triple checking okay so basically i was just making sure it wasn't for my previous work so you're going to click history once you're going to control click uh lo localization and control click map so it selects them i'm gonna just copy them uh i would recommend cut make sure you do not select mod i did that issue once it was difficult you're gonna find the mod you made again and you're gonna paste them in here and i'll you don't really need common unless you're making a new country but that's why i made it so now we're gonna go history states and we have 935 new state now new state doesn't has some files missing so we're going to open some of like these ones it's missing the history file so we're going to go ahead and give it the history file right after name you're going to put history and now its owner is the usa instead of being nothing we're going to add a core which is also going to be the usa and we're going to add uh, whatever this uh, victory point, sorry. So right after we'll do, should be the end of this. We add it, add core ESA, victory points. We're going to change victory points to one of these provinces, like so. And the one is the amount of victory points, I'm pretty sure. And manpower, that's the next thing. You can set this manually. Let's do that. There we go. Not much manpower, 4,000. State category, we also need that. It looks like at least. I'll just copy that. It's just basically you're just copy and pasting the stuff that exists in the different file resources if you want resources again we're just going to do these we'll change it up a little bit and we'll make it six not 150 15 and 40 so this is a rich one and we're going to upgrade the manpower just with an extra zero and we would add a custom country, but I don't have any right now. So we're going to give it to uh, whatever this one was. I think it's not even going to try. But, you know, America is not going to own it. So so the issue is if you open Visual Studio Code. I did mess up on copying and pasting. So basically, these don't end. So history should end right after this but it doesn't. So what you want to do is just do that. States should end, I don't even, this is victory points. So victory points, and this is why I like Visual Studio Code, boom. Now our issue's fixed, or should be. Now if I launch it, it will work. And some of you probably did not have that issue, but some did. And yep, forget attempt to load map. It's a new, new thing. So new USA, and uh, we gave it to the Netherlands. So yeah, the Netherlands owned this random province, but that's what the owner was. If you said to USA, it would be USA owned 
can give it to whoever you want. It will be theirs. You can also take apart any other states, and that is basically how you do it. If we load it, we will see we got the Netherlands, state 3935. Uh, so, yeah. Now, to fix the error issue, that's like completely different from the air issue that, that you see when I launch the game. It's much more, it's weird. I, I'm not entirely sure how to fix it, but I would delete like backup if you had that, or uh, you would delete history, localization, uh, and uh, whatever the other one map is, in if it's in uh, documents, paradox, interactive, cards of iron four.